So today, I'm going to help you build this. Let's put some call to action in our videos to help our visitors take action. Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and I help live streamers create graphics and animations to enhance their videos. And today's broadcast is no different. So let's jump into Keynote and make it happen. We have our new presentation ready to go, and we're going to do a select delete. And we're going to make the color fill of this slide no fill to make it transparent. All right, here we go. Let's make our first button. So we're going to go to shapes and go to the curved edge shape. And I'm going to make this go to the range palette. I'm going to make it 480 wide. So it'll be 480 by 100. All right. And let's make that a little better color blue for now. Go back to style. Let's change that blue. All right. Now let's pick up some text. Put the text in. We're going to have it all caps. And I'm going to type in like. And I'm going to use a font Calibri. Calibri. And we're going to make it 68. And we'll make it white. All right. And we are now good to go. So now this will be our template for our other buttons. So let's go to the object list and select the text and the button. And let's group it. All right. Now, while we have this ready to go now, let's go over to animate and we're going to do a build in a flip half a second, top to bottom, no bounce. Then we're going to go to build out, add an effect. We're going to flip it out top to bottom, half a second, no bounce, right? So this is our templated button with our templated animation already ready to go. We're going to go over to our object list and we're going to copy this button two more times. So we have the top button here. Let's drag it up. Then we have that next button here. We'll drag it down and let's get them all equaled in. So top, middle, that's at the bottom. Now let's drag it all the way down to the bottom. So top, middle, bottom. All right. So there we go. Let's angle them more down to the bottom of the window like that. All right, so top one, we're going to call it like, because that's what it is. The second one will be comment. And the bottom one will be subscribe. I'll just call it sub. All right, so here we go. So the like button, we're now going to change the build in for the like button to pop. Right, so now that one's good to go. And half a second is good. All right, so the next button now, that's our comment button. So we're going to go here to the text of it. And we're going to type in comment. Then we're going to click the button itself, format, and we're going to make it a tone of gray. Now, that one's done. Then we're going to go down to sub, click the button. We're going to make that button red. And we're going to change the text to subscribe. So now, we need to make the the clicked button for subscribe and we got to add the arrow and then we're almost done. So we're going to go back over to our object palette, hold down option, drag it down. So now we have sub and sub. So let's take that top sub, rename it by adding a dash D to it for subscribed. Then we're going to go to the text and put a D on it and make it black. And we're going to go to the button. And we're going to color it gray. So, and also what we need to do is add a bell to it, right? So let's click the subscribe and we're going to have to inch that over with the arrow key. So we'll select it, move it over some. Then we're going to go up here to our shapes and let's search for a bell. Have a bell here and we'll leave it black. It's highlighted. So we'll drag it over and then we're going to shift, click, drag to make it smaller. So now we have all of our elements ready to go. So now we just need to do the animations in and out and we're good. Let's drag that bell down into the sub group. Oh, we actually need one more thing. We need our arrow that's going to click the subscribe button. So let's go back to shapes. Let's go back to basic, get the arrow. I'm going to do a color fill on that arrow of white and let's put a border on it. We can make that border a dark gray. So we click that and drag it down. We're going to go over to a range. 
Let's change the angle on that to point up. See what it looks like on that button. Let's make it a little skinnier. I think that's good. And we're going to drag it off of the screen, right? Okay, so let's do this real quick too. Let's select all four of our buttons. We can just click and drag across them and move them closer down to the bottom. We're going to get them close to that lower corner. And I think we're good now. All right, so we can click on any one of the buttons. We're going to go to the animate palette and build order. So now let's get all the animations put together, right? So the first thing we're going to do is just drag everything into the thing above it just to get everything in. And what I see here is we got the sub and the comment and the other sub out of order. So let's get that sub D all the way down to the bottom and the sub above that. Okay, so we're good. All right, so like pops in, then like flips out and we want our comment to flip in while like is flipping out. So we can go to that comment and we're going to say with number two, right? Now let's go back to the middle one here. We're going to let the first like stay on the screen for about 0.7 seconds, then flip out. This one flips in, then it flips out 0.7, and the sub comes in with it, with number four, right? So let's play those real quick so you can see how they work. Pops in, flip. So now we go with all those. Now the bottom sub doesn't need to flip out at all. I'm going to show you what it needs to do, right? So first thing we want to do is grab this arrow and we're going to go to animate action, add an effect, move, right? And as you see down here, let me slide this one over a little bit. The arrow now has a red line that says where it's going to move to. We're going to grab that right click button and drag it up until the arrow is covering part of the subscribed button. Right. So that's the move that we want. The second move we want that arrow to do is pop like it's clicking. So we're going to go. We have the arrow still clicked. And we're going to add another action and we're going to say pop. And the pop is about half a second. That's good to go. All right. So like comes in, flips out, comment comes in, flips out, sub comes in. It will not flip out yet. Right. So we can even drag that down to disconnect it. So the arrow will move in after the sub flips in. So the arrow moves in and we're going to give that 0.7 seconds, right? Then we're going to have the arrow pop like it's clicking. And we're going to have the sub D is going to just appear. So let's drag that up to the arrow. And when that pops, sub D will appear. So we have sub D clicked. The build in, we're going to change that to just appear. So when it clicks, it will appear. There you go. So we're going to have it appear with the pop, with number seven, with a little bit of a delay on it. Arrow clicks, it changes. At that time, the sub can just disappear. We don't need it anymore. So instead of build out, we're going to change it to disappear. So now it's gone. And we can have it disappear right after the, um, the other one appears, right? So we don't have to worry about it no more. Then the sub D will pop out at the very end, right? We're going to give it a little bit of a delay. Oh, I forgot something. We need to make the arrow disappear first. So the arrow moves in, arrow pops, clicks for the subbed past tense, then the arrow needs to disappear. So let's click back on the arrow and we're going to go to build out and effect. We're just going to make it disappear, right? So it clicks it. The arrow disappears after the old sub disappears. Let's give it 0.4 seconds. And then the subscribed button will pop out at the very end after a little bit of a delay after the arrow delays, right? And we're going to change that to pop out. We'll watch them now. There we go. So that's our full animation, but that's the design. That is it. We're ready to rock and roll now. So go to file, export movie, and we're going to do zero, zero for next slide, next build. 
It's going to be Apple ProRes with transparency. We're going to click Next. And we'll call it CTA, Call to Action. Export that. All right, so let's go back to our main window here. Let's watch the Call to Action come to action. And there we go. I am Bradley Vinson, Alanis Pawpaw. Be blessed, be free. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.